Nicola Bully, 45, disappeared a week ago on Friday morning, January 27, while walking her pet Springer Spaniel Willow next to the River Wire. She had just dropped off to her daughters, aged six and nine, at the local school in the village prior to the walk. The mum of two's phone was recovered near a bench close to the river, however, there was no sign of Nicola. It is understood that Nicola walked along the path by the river wire at 8.43 a.m. Around 8.50 a.m. she was also spotted by a fellow dog walker who interacted with Moe's bully dog before the witness left the field via the river path. 9.01 a.m., she logged into a team's call. Around 9.10 a.m., somebody who knows Moe's bully saw her on the upper field walking her dog, Willow. Lancashire police say they are trying to establish exactly what time this was. 9.30 a.m., the team's call ended but Moe's bully stayed logged on. Around 9.35 a.m., her mobile phone and dog were found at a bench by the river by another dog walker. A major police search was launched and has also seen hundreds of local residents scouring the area for any sign of the missing mum. Lancashire fire and rescue teams returned to the river bank by the bench near Nicola Bully's phone was found with a 20-foot-long probe attached to an underwater camera. A team of frogmen trawled beneath the surface of the river wire while other officers combed the banks and a fire service boat team accompanied by a specialist search dog scoured the water surface. The family of Nicola Bully broke down in tears as they said they're stuck in a nightmare after the mum vanished into thin air. Nicola's sister Louise Cunningham, speaking to Sky News today, said, I just can't. If I'm being honest, it feels like I'm just stuck in a nightmare. We're going round and round in circles trying to piece together what could have possibly happened and we've just got to keep such an open mind with everything because we just have no idea where she is. It's like she's just vanished into thin air. There's no evidence to point us in any direction. Obviously, my hope is that she's still out there. Something's happened and she's, I don't know, needed to take herself off for whatever reason. She added, we just want her home. We need her home, her children need her home. It's just absolutely heartbreaking. Nicola's father Ernie said, this has just emptied our lives at the minute, we just feel so empty. We appreciate everything everyone is doing to find her. The police have been brilliant, the local community has been outstanding. But at the end of the day we just want her back. He added, we need the public to search their minds for anything they might have seen. The main thing is we want to find Nicola and get her back home. There are two young children there waiting for their mummy to come back. And if Nicola is out there and she's watching this, come home, contact the police. We just want you back. Police released a CCTV image of the woman on Thursday as a key potential witness who was walking along the river wire at the same time as Nicola. But after she was identified, police were left at a dead end as she was unable to provide any extra information, according to reports. The 67-year-old woman, Christine Bowman, told police she did not see Nicola, 45, during her walk with her own dog, Snowflake. Ms. Bowman said she was baffled by the appeal to track her down because she had already spoken to officers on the day Ms. Bully disappeared, and she doesn't know anything. The partner of Nicola Bully has spoken out publicly for the first time since the mother of two went missing. As yet, it, it, it seems like we're no further on. It just, just seems, it just seems absolutely impossible. Just, just like a dream. I just can't, cannot get my head around any of it. I mean, you, you're left sort of trying to make sense of the of the census, aren't you? It is just such a mystery. Yeah. It. It is. There's just no... Every, every single scenario comes to a brick wall, every single one of them. And then all we're doing is sitting there going round and round and round, going through every scenario, and then go back to the, f the first scenario again and do the whole thing again. And then... And it, it's just all day long, that's all we're doing. That's all we're doing. How are, how are you coping it must be so difficult like you say your focus is is on the girls and it and it has to be but yeah. it, it must be so difficult i don't know how i'm coping i i, can't, I, I don't even want to actually think about that just focus just like i say it's just about the girls that's it i'm there for them um i, can't, I don't want to really elaborate on that i just i don't want to take my eye off that it must be heartwarming to see the the public response I mean, hundreds of people trying to help it's amazing it's uh, it is right now it's the only thing that we can take is you know that 
level of support is out of this world. Um, it gives us a, a great amount of comfort knowing that they're, that's going on. They don't have anything else, do we? Well, there's hope. <laughs> there's, yeah, we're never ever going to lose the hope. Of course we're not. Uh, but like, but right now, it is as though she has vanished into thin air. Like, yeah, just it. Police sealed off a car park near to where Nicola Bully disappeared. Officers and forensics were working at the scene nine miles downstream from where the mum vanished. Lancashire police were investigating reports of a suspicious vehicle in the car park, but that nothing was found. The car park has since been reopened. It comes after her heartbroken partner said he is trying to explain to their children why, mummy isn't there for a bedtime cuddle. Nicola's friend Tillian has now shared 11 facts about the family online in an effort to set the record straight. Nicola and Paul both mostly work from home which is why he was at home that day and the house has CCTV. They both do this walk regularly and Paul is very well known in the community and very well recognized. The dog, Willow, never has her harness on for a chunk of that walk, it's removed at the gate of the top field and then put back on at the gate when they leave. They very rarely take the ball out for walks with Willow and haven't done for a while because she is protective over the ball. Nicola would often put her phone on loudspeaker when talking. The dog was found very close to both the bench and the harness. The harness was found on the floor not on the bench. Nicola is an incredibly strong swimmer. She drove to the school to drop her two daughters off and then left her car there and walked to the river. The dog was dry when found. The dog has since been back. There's CCTV at the back of the caravan park. The only camera that isn't working is the one that would have seen everything. Fresh CCTV images of Nicola Bully on the day she vanished have emerged. Police have issued CCTV pictures of the missing dog walker on the day she vanished in Lancashire, having just dropped her kids off at school. The images were captured from Nicola's own ring doorbell. She is seen on security footage wearing a long dark coat, leggings and ankle boots with her hair tied in a ponytail. On Monday 6 February divers are scouring the water and a search continues involving mountain rescue, sniffer dogs and helicopters, but no trace of her has been found. A team of divers from the private specialist group International SGI, are now assisting with the search. The firm's founder Peter Falding. If Nicola is here, I'm happy we will find her. If she's in the river. He said his specialist equipment, a high-tech sonar which will scan the riverbed, has a very high hit rate. If we can't find her in the next three or four days in this river, if she's not here, then I'm confident that she's not in this stretch of river. I'd be very confident of that, he said. We are going to be working our hardest. We'll probably be working under darkness tonight for a while and that's my intention to help the family. Thank for watching. In the comment section please share your thoughts. Do you think it was an accident and she felt in the river or somebody is responsible for her disappearing? Don't forget to subscribe and I will keep you updated.